Hey guys, it's Ron Howard from Extreme Sequences, and I'm back in California where it's nice and warm. No snow here. It's beautiful. We're going to get some rain, but goodness, it's beautiful. But I have to say, I loved being in Denver. Uh, Doug Real was the perfect host and uh, took me out to the Denver Mini where I've got to meet a lot of really cool people and learned a ton, uh, as well as finding out that 2019.7 had been released and therefore I had lots of time to play with it on the jet ride back yesterday. So I wanted to share just a few things that I like about 2019.7 and something about 2019.6 that I thought was pretty cool. And I'm going to go over this list right here. See here, see here, see here, see the mouse cursor, the little window, the little, little look, 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 look. It's over here. All right. Add inside outside ratio to star model. We'll talk about that. Add zoom gesture to preview panels. And why would you want to? Add bulk edit to effect type. I was talking to Doug about this and I went, why would you want to do that? He goes, well, what if you did this and this and this? And I went, okay, Mr. Brain, fine. You're right. You're right. So we'll talk about it. And then of course, make model move accelerate when using keyboard, when repeatedly moving models using keyboard. Now I had to think about this one for a second and it's absolutely needed and I completely missed reading about it in 2019.6. It's just all a big blur, folks. These things just keep flying out right and left. It's hard to keep up. So I'm going to try to help out where I can. Let's do this first one. Add inside outside ratio to star. You just got to go grab another star. And I'll just illustrate with this star here. And now look what we have. Outer to inner ratio. And look what we can do. Oh, it's a sharp star. Ninja style. And you go the other way. And you make it more like a... Charlie Brown star, that's kind of what it reminds me of. But it's kind of a cool feature, will you use it? I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. Look, it's a starfish. So there is that. Uh, while I'm here, let's just skip to this uh, 2019.6, make model move accelerate when using keyboard, when repeatedly moving models using keyboard. Gosh, it could have been an easier way of, of saying that. So let's just highlight a few of these. Uh, you know, if I was to highlight another one by holding down the control key, I could click on it and move these wherever I want and make them. Oh, that's going to have to be a new effect request there. Or I could take a bunch of these and use the arrow key. Used to, when you would hold the arrow key down, it would move about like that slow, right? Remember these days? Yeah, remember that? Okay, it's like, oh my God. And the reason you do this is because maybe you have them in perfect alignment and you don't want to ruin that alignment. For instance, if I wanted to move all my arches left or right or all my trees uh, or things, the, all the windows. Um, now watch, watch what happens when I hold the key down more than a half second. Stop! Oh, right. So, okay. It seems kind of funny and uh, silly, but it's actually a cool thing to have. Um, Again, the whole purpose is if you've got something like this here and you want to move them all without moving them up and down, now you can. One, two, two. Oh, but guess what? Now I've got to try to get them back in alignment. <laughs> I let up just in time. Boy, that was, that was pure luck. If anything, save. Okay, moving on. Add zoom gesture to preview panels. We're saving the best for last, just so you know. Uh, let's click on this. Now you can use your mouse wheel and zoom out to the point that basically your star is almost gone. Look at that. Look, look like a little dot. And then you go the opposite way and you use your mouse wheel to the point. Oh, it's gone again. Hmm. Well, there's got to be a happy medium, right? So that's pretty cool. Uh, I know what you're thinking. You're probably wondering, will this work with groups? Why, why not? Look at that. I could just sit here and do this all day. I mean, usually when I get really bored and I need a break, Candy Crush is kind of like the go-to, but right now I think this might replace that because this is just fun. All right, there is that. So that was add inside outside ratio to start a model. Add zoom gestures to preview, which is what we just did. 
We did the make model move accelerate when using keyboard when repeatedly moving models using keyboard. It just seems like a run on sentence, but that's okay. And now one of my favorites is add bulk edit to effect type. Hmm, pretty cool stuff here. What does that mean? Add bulk edit. Well, I love bulk edit. So here's something here. What if I wanted to change all of these effects to a completely different effect? Perhaps I'm just not digging this single strand effect on my wreath and I'd like to make them butterflies, but not one at a time. I don't want to copy. I just want to go down to my effect settings here, choose the effect drop down menu, bulk edit, and then go find my butterfly. There you are, butterfly. Oh, fly, butterfly. So pretty. All right, there we are. Look at that. How, how simple was that? But I changed my mind and realized I can't stand the butterfly anymore. Right click, back to my single strand, and do, 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 single, single strand, and OK. And now I have my single strand back. But I lost the original effect. Well, I should have created a preset effect, but luckily I remembered that it was simply four chases. So I'll change this to four, and I'm back where I was at. How cool is that? So simple, so simple. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, get to practicing. There's no excuse for 2019 Christmas or Halloween. You better be on your A-game. I'll be watching. Take care, guys.